right, so this week we're talking about the 34th Psalm, and we're kind of just breaking it, breaking it down and allowing the Spirit of God to speak to us and through us uh, this psalm. Now again, it's written by David. And in the first verse, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Verse 2 says, My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. This psalm is telling us we're to continually to praise God. Lift and exalt his name. Amen. The word praise here is uh, tehillah. To to hill. I have problems with this word every time. Tehillah. It's, uh, that's the Hebrew word. It refers to a hymn of praise or the singing of spontaneous praise to God. Look with me at Psalm 40. Just a couple pages over. Psalm 40 and verse 3. It says, he has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see it and hear it and will trust in, in the Lord. Once again, I, I believe that the Psalm 34 is showing us that many times it begins in the natural. In other words, yes, I'm there in the natural. I need to tell myself, I will worship and praise God. I tell my soul. My spirit tells my soul. And the Bible says that, well, let, let me say it this way. Uh, the Bible speaks of tongues and interpretation of tongues, and many people have problems with that. I personally don't. I believe in tongues. I know it's a gift of, of, of the Spirit. And so the Bible says, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. And um, I believe that's what happens. It's God's Spirit, because I look to Him in the Spirit. His Spirit making praise and melody, uh, uh, praise and, and worship to Himself but he does it through me. Isn't that cool? Um, but I have to yield to his spirit, allow his spirit to minister. It says, out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water, which speaks of the presence of God. And it's his presence just bubbling up and coming forth. It's easy to praise him. Why? Because he teaches us, us how to praise him. Amen. It's his spirit worshiping him through my spirit and giving me revelation. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, even in the New Testament, it talks about that we're to make melody in our heart in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 19. So when the heart is full of praise, it will find express, uh, expression either with songs or words uh, being spoken and overflowing out of our mouths. Once again, uh, Matthew 12, 34 says, out of the abundance of a heart, the man speaks. So as we fill ourselves up with praise, as we allow God's spirit to, to, to bring forth that praise and worship, maybe through tongues, um, when, when all that begins to happen, out of the abundance of our heart, we begin to praise him. We are always to sing praise. Psalm 35, 28. Look there. 35, 28. And it says... And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. See, when we yield to his spirit, his spirit just bubbles up. His presence bubbles out of our, our uh, spirit and gives us songs and hymns and spiritual songs of praise and worship towards him. Um, so, in verse 1 through 7, uh, this psalm elaborates the theme uh, verses. Uh, it tells us here in 1 through 7, and you can read it on your own. It says, uh, tells us to sing to prompt others to do the same in verse 2 and verse 3. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. So see, when we, when we express praise and worship, we are prompting others to do the same. We also sing as a transforming remedy for fear. In verse 4 and 5, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Why? Because his praise is continually in my heart and in my mouth and on my lips. Amen. And then we sing as an exercise of faith invoking deliverance. Look at verse 6 and 7. 
This poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and deliver him. So as we worship and as we praise, uh, th that invokes our, our faith. It raises us up, be, makes us more aware of the presence of God. Remember, and faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of God. So as his spirit ministers to our spirit, we open ourselves up, tell our soul, you will bless the Lord today. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Begin to do that today. I encourage you. I encourage you. Tell your soul, even though you don't feel like it, I will bless the Lord. And I will sing of his praises all day long. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.